All right, so that's my trail, 125. I just got a uh, Kojima uh, rear tail light uh, cage. So I got this on WeBike. And you can see the, uh, the part number right there. All right, part number. See what we need to do to put this on to install this. How much I need to take off as far as the light goes. Um, I think the light itself has at least three. I see at least three, uh, three bolts that holds the tail light on. Maybe that's more. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so that's three. Yeah, I was right. There it is. There's two right there and one up right here. So that's three of them. I wish this thing was more uh, more closed, you know, see how open it is? So like smaller box to go through here. I wish it was like, it had like a, like a little grid right here or maybe two, two along here. So, make, so it closes up a little bit more. Same with this one right here. Probably at least two, if not three, uh, closes it up a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, so that's, overlay this on the bike and see how it goes actually I think it goes yeah actually yeah, it does go like this so this is this is how it goes and yeah, I wasn't sure if it was this way or this way but this is the this is the top that's the bottom I think this is where the license plate uh, mount is or part of the license plate mount and this up here is, is on the top of the tail light so let's uh, move over to the tail light all right, so I have a problem here. So I guess this is this is a um, this is actually I guess I guess maybe U.S. specific with Japan the the thing is different. So once I put it on there, so this it's always correct. These two holes line up with the uh, license plate uh, mount, but the thing is, at least here in California, the license plate mount is wider. Whereas in Japan, I guess it's the the mount, mounting hole is actually a little bit narrower. So I can't fit that in there, uh, but it does fit on the bracket here though. The bracket here, still got the bracket. The bracket there does fit, because if you look at it, see that it's, uh, um, you know, it's kind of hard to, it's hard to tell now, but on the, on the left side of this bolt, actually, let me grab my flashlight and see if I can get a flashlight going. Okay, there it is, you see the slot? How it's slotted in there. It's slotted so, I guess the license plate in Japan is a little bit narrower, so what I have to do is I have to, uh, I have to drill a hole through my plate, uh, not the license plate itself. If you look, look here on my, so I have my license plate, but behind the license plate I have another backing plate. And the reason why I did that was because uh, this, the stock, the stock uh, mount. There's only two holes. There isn't the holes for the bottom, right? There isn't the hole for the bottom. So what I had to do was, uh, and, and the reason why I did this, put that backing plate on there was because my on my Super Cub, uh, where it mounted, because I only have two, and on my road trip, it cracked right here from all the vibration. So it cracked and it cracked, so basically the license plate kind of uh, broke apart. So that's why I made that, that backing, the backing plate here. That's why I made this backing plate. So that way I could use all four mounting bolts, right? So that way the license plate would stay intact. So what I have to do is actually where where the slot is back here. The slot is back there. I, I just took a, a sharpie and I colored it in because uh, you know obviously the plate is silver because it's metal. So I colored it in with the sharpie so I know where where to drill the hole. So I could drill the hole. I could mount you know through that hole. That way it could line up with the uh, with the holes with these two holes here. That's a little bit more inset from the from the license plate hole. So I gotta do that. So I need to. So what I need to do because this plate right here, it's uh, there's actually because it's actually raised. So it, behind the plate, there's actually a little spacing. And when I mount when I mounted these bolts, I actually put in a um, a little washer between the plate and the back between the license plate itself and the backing plate. So there's a little bit of, of a space maybe 
maybe a sixteenth of an inch around around there, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit more, probably a little bit smaller. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do is once I drill a hole on the backing plate, that's gonna be a hole, you know, right around right here. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use a uh, countersunk uh, screw head. Uh, that way, it, could, it it pretty much lays flat, and it could be behind the plate and it's hidden. Then I can you know then I can mount this this on this. So that's what I'm gonna use uh, for that. So I gotta go to the hardware store and get get some uh, some extra parts. Also, the top mount here. No, see that hole. So well mounts in the back here. Let's see if we can see this. Right, right up in here. It has its own little. Uh, it has its own little uh, little uh, screw or a bolt and a spacer. So that way it could clear the light. Because right now the way it is, the way it is up here, the light is not. Uh, you know the that bracket is, is it touches the lights. So there's there's a little bit of space back there. So. You need to put that on there, but anyways, it'll look something like this, and it'll stay help you know, it'll help protect from the uh, from the rocks and stuff uh, when I when I take this thing off road. All right, so I put the uh, the, the light uh, tail tail light uh, protection cage on. Um, so before I I had mentioned I was gonna drill through the back plate and stuff. That was like too much work so what i did was i actually basically because this thing this this wire here is so thin that i basically i just bent it bent it outwards bent it outwards um and when i kind of loosely uh, screwed up everything on this thing the the piece itself was kind of crooked and it was touching the uh it was touching the turn signal so i just grabbed the ends here and just i just you know bent it you know up down sideways whatever uh so that way there's a little bit of space between this turn signal, uh, you know, all along the all along the edges, and all along the corners, and also uh, space between the the this this little round part right here too, because this pops out a little bit. Um, so after that, you know, I pull this thing out as much as I could and bend this straight, in, you know, bend as much as I can. Seems to fit okay. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts. This thing is kind of flimsy, you know, because everything is so thin. You know, it's only like. Uh, you know, maybe eighth of an inch thick uh, on the thick spot right here, on this thick support here. And the, the, this and this uh, is about an eighth of an inch. And in here, it's a little thinner than that. It's probably about three thirty seconds uh, in here. So not very, uh, you know, not very thick and, and solid, but you know, it's, it's all right. It has to do its job. Um, so hopefully this will protect my, you know, my lights from, from gravel kicking up or whatever, uh, you know, you have stuff like that when you when you ride ride dirt, dirt and gravel and such. You know things get kicked up by the tires. Um, you know when you have when you're riding knobbies, it kicks dirt and gravel everywhere. So so hopefully this this works. Uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.